Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, fellow Scorpios uh, or Scorpio, this is going to be our weekly tarot reading for a August 5th to August 11th, 2019. Um, I would say for myself uh, that I'm expecting a lot of things to happen throughout the week. I do have a lot of the, uh, errands to run as well. So I'm pretty eager to see what the cards are to say about this week. Should I bury my head under the pillow and not going out and do anything or should all these plans of mine are going to be uh, successful let's see what the cards are to say let me shuffle them and we're gonna jump into right into it in just a, a second all right so cross your fingers about this one we got the general topic of our week and we have a winner here with the lover's card followed by the challenges that we need to overcome that is going to be the seven of swords third card it is the positive aspect of the ten of wands and then the last one which is the guidance that we should follow here that is the four of wands so confirmation at least for me that i shouldn't leave anything unfinished throughout the weekend believe me i am a person who tends to make up and an excuses you know for yourself for for myself so i don't attend to an, an immediate uh, errands that i have to run or immediate responsibilities that i have to do so it's it looks like that this is going to be a, a quite of a um a, a week for me and for what it looks it's going to be rather a, a successful one okay so before we go into it let's run down the cards one more time we do have the lovers as a topic followed by the uh, seven of swords as a challenge afterwards it is the eight of wands as a um uh, positive aspect and the last one is going to be the four of wands so the lover's card first of all it shows that we are going to be extremely extremely successful into resolving problems all right so whatever problems we have we should attend them throughout this week because this is our winner's week this is the week where you completely settle all our all of our problems should you go for it even better some of the trifles that we are facing are going to resolve on their own accords and if we Scorpio are carrying on problems from the past week to this one well then most likely they're going to resolve themselves on their own accord either so the lovers also represents a very big harmony into one relationships all right and not just into one relationships but as well into one's uh, into one's endeavor in general lovers card is all about making the right decisions for oneself it's all about you know being in harmony with oneself it also may lead to quite a lot of flirting it's not a good card if we're talking about an initiative into a relationship to be honest because the lovers is about the differences that two people have toward one another and in these days people tend to um, es kind of like run away from those who are different from them all right but uh, apart from that the lovers card points that this week is also apart from resolving your problems and attending to your errands it's what I need to do. It's also a week where uh, we are to, um, how do I place it? Where we are to make a very well-found decisions for ourselves. 
The accompanied card here is going to be the King of uh, the, the Knights of Wands formation. It is a active friends. So on top of that, it looks like that we're going to be quite enterprising people ready to do whatever it takes to do what we have to do. All right. And additionally to that, uh, it looks like that we're also going to have an opportunity to help someone. Should we do that? Well, that depends entirely on us, to be honest. So what is going to be really the challenge for us here? That is to be the Seven of Swords card. So the Seven of Swords in this case points to a, a, a bruising, all right? It's kind of like it points to a very aggressive behavior, a, a behavior where we um, tend to win a lot on an expense of other parties. So what the card points is that it's going to be very difficult for us to be reasonable throughout the week, all right? So we we want to accomplish endeavors, but we have to bear in mind that in order the endeavor to be successful, it has to be successful for the all parties in this, um, uh, that are involved into the situation itself. The other option of how the Seven of Swords may play out is that we may be more willing to um, to bypass injustice toward ourselves just for the sake of that the endeavor is done. Okay, so we need to find that middle line where uh, the situation is not going to escalate to extreme, but in the same time we are to find ourselves beneficial from it. Okay. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ten of Cups formation. It is a uh, active neutrals. So <clears throat> as an active neutral, that is a, a very peculiar uh, combination in, in the follow up here. OK, and it points to a certain uh, a small blockage that we may have. And this blockage will revolve our future plans, okay, the plans of what happens afterwards. So what these two cards here are pointing is that we can go for greater heights when we resolve our predicaments, when we attend to our errands as well. The whole point is that these errands, once resolved, are going to uh, allow us to conquer new heights, they are going to open a new doors. But unfortunately, we're not going to see that immediately. OK, so that's why we need to keep our mind open for it, which is going to be a challenge for us. The next card, which stands for the positive aspect of the week, it does represent the Ten of, uh, the ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands points us that we will have no problem whatsoever to play according to the rules of the game. So we are not feel oppressed by the situation itself, but we are going to feel more than happy to oblige to the criteria. Why? It is because it will seem fair and is going to be fair. On top of that, the Ten of Wands represents also in a positive as aspect, it points to a gaining full opportunity that we can establish for ourselves, which is going to grant us a domination, is going to grant us uh, influence upon people, upon our work, you know, upon our marriage, upon our relationship. It does depend where it manifests itself. But definitely the car points that should we put the toes behind it, look at how much we, we are to cultivate from it. We may even struggle to cultivate everything, all right? It's going to be so much that we may be buff. Well, in my country, you have that, uh, that sentence, you are going to fill up your basket so much that you may find it difficult to carry on, all right? The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Wands formation. It is a active uh, friend, active supporters, excuse me, and that is all the result of your uh, the result of your hard work. So all what these cards are pointing here is that this week your successful reach of a, a my, milestone gives you so much more opportunity to work with, right, and so much more fields for you to conquer that you may find it very overwhelming, very overburdened, not knowing which one to prioritize first. And like we said, it's a, a, a week of decision. You cannot decide in favor of everything. But what is a good thing about these two cards is that you are not oppressed by time. All right. These things are yours to take. So it will be best if you first, you know, attend to those 
enterprise and those endeavors which you find easier to push forward with okay because with the because with the six of wands to the ten of wands is very important not to look like a weak person all right you are looking strong in the in the eyes of others you are looking like 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 a leader like someone that people are ready to praise for all right and you you showing a weakness is going to kind of like jeopardize that standpoint where people want to follow you or people are admiring you that's very important and then the last card here that we do have for you scorpio is going to be the uh <clears throat> guidance that Taro is offering to you and that is going to be the four of wands so as a four of wands stands over an important uh, as a, a cycle of development just ends which is an important cycle of development it does gives us the idea that we shouldn't leave anything unfinished that we have started throughout the week all right we need to finalize everything so we can finalize the cycle successfully and move on from there into the new cycle that is going to be even more successful the four of wands stands as like a uh, uh, a huge surge of impulse that have been building up until this very moment and once you finalize your errands you know your your deeds your activities as well you you kind of like take responsibilities make up your decisions and so on and so forth you unleash you are to unleash this impulse which is giving you an, a tremendous advantage in the days to come the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, knights of pentacles so another testament for the new opportunities that are coming around here well with these two cards which are active neutrals by the way uh, you do it looks like that we do have a certain plan how we are to move but let's say to the rest of the year but because this impulse is so huge it will open for us many other options available and therefore after this week we may find ourselves a bit baffled what we should uh, proceed with moving on forward we may have a lot of business ideas you know you may certainly find suddenly find ourselves with a lot of suitors from us to choose from and all these kind of stuff my point here is that if you think what you know right now in the week august 5th to august 11th well think again because the universe is going to surprise is going to surprise you and afterwards with the days to come you are to find out that what you want is not just inefficient but you can want much much more because much much more is going to be given to you scorpio so yeah that being said guys pretty positive week is to come around only if we don't slack and that is something that i should constantly remind myself and um well basically this was the weekly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and i hope that we're going to see each other around until then bye